hello. Today we're going to go over spears and Zhao. And Zhao. I've got a few of them. So uh, we're not going to cover the five star. For those of you that are new to the channel, I don't focus on five stars. They're not relevant to the average player, well, majority of player base. Most people that are actually spending money and wishes in the game are spending them on heroes. Uh, most of the five stars that are obtained are accidentally. So for me to make a guide on five star weapons, uh, it focuses on people that want to dump their entire life savings into the game or people that accidentally have it. And every other big time content creator that has deep pockets uh, is already covering that stuff. So I cover things that are relevant to all of us, including three stars. We'll get to that later. So, uh, I did not get Black Cliff. I missed it. I had, th uh, I needed one. Yeah. Anyways, we wait till March to get the Black Cliff. Currently in February, the Royal is in the Star Glitter shop. Black Cliff will be back in March. I might revisit this. I also want to level up the rest of the physical damage. So physical damage items like these two are dog do, dog doo doo, dog doo doo, doo doo, just doo doo, straight doo doo. So you don't want to be using physical damage on him. Um, this one is super, super, super situational, and I still wouldn't recommend using it, so I don't have these three leveled for this video. But I will have them leveled soon, and then we can always revisit and whatever. This is also one that everybody was telling me to try out, and I was like, oh, it's a three-star, why? Why? 401 base damage, 560, why? Why? We'll test it, and then you can make up your mind if it's worth it or not. I have a lot of friends that don't have a lot of spears, but they have this. Is it worth? I mean, don't take my word for it, but it's surprisingly good. So we're going to cover this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Yes. Yes. Let's get into it. Obviously, with different artifacts and different stats, if you are a math junkie and you want to be anal and retentive about everything, kind of like me sometimes, um, the following will have different results based on extreme differences in gear, gear set bonuses, Crit stats, etc. Okay. But for just an average set of a two piece gladiator, two piece Vera, so I'm getting 15% more animo damage, which is going to be irrelevant for a lot of what we're doing. And then the 18% attack, which will apply to what we're doing. I could run four piece glad, but let's be realistic. Nobody has a good four piece glad unless you've really spent the fuck ton of time in the game. Okay. Here are the base stats of my character for those that are interested. We got 33, 151, oops, 177 with the Favonius, 160, or er, 61, Animo. There's the flower, there's the feather, got an attack cup, Animo cup, attack timepiece, and a crit damage helmet. For those that care... I don't want any of my five stars above a C0. So it's relevant to everybody that might actually have a five star. And then talent wise, I level all my characters up to just level six. Um, because once you go past level six, it starts requiring weekly materials, which is harder for everybody else to max out. If they've spent all their, their materials and I show them something that they can't get, then it's a little irrelevant to them. So I stop at level six because everybody and their moms can obtain level six. All right, let's start out with the Favonius which is one of the hardest hitting. The Royal and the Favonius are the two hardest hitting four stars in the game at 565. We got my dear friend, Bob. We'll just name him Bob. Bob, come here. Hey, Bob's not being friendly. Here, let's go, Bob. There's one string. Another string. We do three or two per weapon. What's a good... Average just view of what he can do. Let's do two, three. All right. Charge attack. Okay. We'll do it again. Okay. Do it again. Okay. Go ahead, come in and use our skill. We'll use it twice. 13 crit. Do it again. Five, seven. Okay. How much health does he have? Do we want to wait? Uh, I don't know if I want to risk it. We'll be back for some burst testing. All right. Now, this is a hard one to showcase because of the timing. So, again, rough numbers. 
the anal retentive spreadsheet users like myself are going to cringe. Um, but then again, if you're an anal retentive spreadsheet number guy, don't you already have this on a spreadsheet? For demonstration purposes, we're just going to pop the burst and start attacking just so we can see what happens. Now, in straight-up comparison, depending on time frames, for those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll explain why this is going to be a little more less accurate. In Zhao's talents at level 90, or whatever talent you unlock it, Conqueror of Evil, uh, when you're level 90, you have all your talents, so I, I forgot. But this one right here, while under Bane of All Evil, which is your burst, all damage dealt by Zhao increases by 5%. Damage increases by a further 5% every 3 seconds. The ability persists. Uh, the maximum damage bonus is 25. So if it goes up 5% every 3 seconds, that's 15 seconds. I The, the, the burst lasts how long? I'm not going to wait 15 seconds and then use a 3 second window to show... S We're just going to pop it, right? So, bear with me. Nah, it doesn't matter. The fire already came in. We'll do a pop. Boom. Seven. Oh, I don't want to kill him. Eighteen. We gotta go. Holy crap. He's gonna die from his own fire, and I'm gonna be upset. Don't die, Bob! Come on, run away. Get some health, Bob. Did he survive? Or did he die? Bob? Bob? Bob's alive! Yeah, let's move over to the prototype. Now, the prototype is we're going to do it two different ways because after using an elemental skill, it increases your normal and it charged attack damage by 8%. Wait, is this refinement one? It is refinement one. By 8% for 12 seconds. Maximum two stacks. So you pop your two skills. And then you have a 16% damage bonus to normal and charged attacks. Bob! Bob! Your grass is dying. You should water it. Wait for him to attack. Rawr! Oh! I thought it was a vertical coming in. Here we go. There's one. Another attack string. Okay. Another attack string. Wait, he's going to attack. We got plenty of life. We'll do some charge attacks. Bam. Okay. Bob. Bob. Calm down. Bob. Oh, Bob. Okay. Okay. Let's go let Bob get some health. I need some health. Okay. Bobby Bob. We're going to attack with our two skills now. Boom. 12. I do have an attack buff. It should not work towards skills, though. Pro tip. Your little sealy thingy, friend? The pink, yellow, or blue one? When it's out, you're not in combat. Now you have to figure out what you had to remove from your brain to obtain that knowledge. <laughs> All right. One, two. Sheedy, sheedy. Okay. Boom, boom. Do we get one more string in? Nope, it's not gonna happen. No! It's close enough. We'll just call that close enough. All right, burst. No skill buff. All right, burst. Okay, we'll do another one. Nope, he's gonna attack. Oh, God. Oh, God.
All right. Go ahead and, uh... I don't know if we're going to be able to get two chains together off of them on this one. Boom, and then we'll go boom. We'll go one, two, and then... No! Bob! Almost killed Bob. All right, we're going to do some plunges. Just to remove speculation. Six. 16. Nope, that's it. That's good. 6 and 16. With a possible broken buff. It's not supposed to apply to plunge damage when you do your your double buff with the prototype. But just just because I don't want to run it twice. There you go. There's there's if it's buffing you. Because let's be honest, you should be using your skills anyways. So you're going to have the buff. Right? There you go. Alright, so moving on, we're going to use the Royal. It's got the highest base attack for a 4 star. It has attack built into it, so it's going to affect everything. The perk is I... Um, it just basically increases your crit rate as you keep attacking until you crit. Then it resets back down to nothing. And then it builds back up until you crit. So, it's okay. It's okay. But this is amazing. This is amazing. And it matches Zhao. See, it turns blue when you level it up. Bob, come here. All right, first string. Went from to attack again. Second string. Okay. All right, skill, 5-9, Oh, give me a crit, dude. Give me a crit! We'll do a charge attack. Bob! Bob, come here! 5-9, come on, crit! 16. <gasps> no! All right. Well, after further exploration, uh, we found Frank. Bob is dead. And Frank, another level 86. Okay, we good. We good. I don't remember what we were showing off. What have we seen? We haven't done the bursts yet. Here we go. Come on. Burst time. Get out of the fire, Frank. Come here. Oh. Okay. There we go. That's good enough. We're not going to kill Frank. Bye, Frank. All right, plunge time. Plunge, plunge time. We want to attack. Boink. We'll just cancel with this. We're going to jump. There's an 18. 19. Got to go. Oh, God, Frank. Go ahead and do a death match. Save the best for last. The three star. Death match time. All right, let him attack. Boom. Boom. Second string. Okay. We'll do a third string here in a second. All right, we'll throw in a charge attack. Another charge attack. Another charge attack. And we'll run away. Right, we're gonna look at our skills while we build up our burst. One hit, 13k crit. Second hit, 5 7. 6 2. Alright, burst is ready. We'll be back. Pop this. We go in. Okay, I don't wanna risk it. Alright, we're gonna do one more string. Do a plunge. Six. Seventeen. Six and seventeen. I think that's good. That's good. Death match in the bag. White tassel. All of you should have the white tassel. And it should all be R5. For those of you that have been playing the game that don't have all of your R or your three stars R5. What are you doing? What are you doing? You should have been should have been watching my videos sooner. For those of you that are new, save all your three-star weapons and R5 them. First string, not so impressive. Second string, what the filth, man? It's a three-star. 
We'll have to see what happens when I make the spreadsheet. Just from looking at numbers, I'm like, what the shit? Third string. <laughs> what? For those of you that are already shaking your head, putting your fist in your face, down in the comment section, being like, it's those are normal attacks. It's supposed Yeah, those are normal attacks. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. And what those of you that don't have it memorized, the swipe tassel increases your normal attack damage by 48% on top of having good crit rate and an okay low level base attack. It's a lot of damage, man. I don't know about you, but I don't only use my skills or wait for my burst to be active before I attack stuff. I attack stuff normally too. Okay? Normal. It's it's normal to normally attack. <laughs> Alright, we'll see what the skills do. Bam! 4-4. Four, four. Bam! 12-3. Bam! 13-4. It's not supposed to buff anything but your normal attacks. Those are some pretty beefy things, man. Do a charge attack. Do a charge attack. Another charge attack. Okay. It hangs with the big boys, man. It hangs with the big boys. All right, let's go in. We'll do a couple burst strings or one or two. Hopefully, we can get two of them off. Frank. Oh, we can't. Nope. Mm -mm. Got to come back later. All right, let's get a second string off. Oh, God. All right, plunge damage. 14. 14. 14. God, I know we're going to kill him if we do it again. Oh, right, we know 14 is the crit. All right, I got to go edit all this and uh, make a spreadsheet. Be back. All right, so here's the numbers. Um, they're quite a bit different than I was thinking. Kind of gut feeling was right, but still. Uh... There's a lot on the screen. Let me break it down. Basically, all of this is Favonius data. The prototype data. The prototype after the double skill buff. Royal. Deathmatch. White Tassel. Okay? Got it. Going across this way. These are all your normal attacks. There's eight of them. I ran most of them three times. So I did an eight attack chain, an eight attack chain, and an eight attack chain. Here's the total damage of everything that accrued. Accrued? Accrued. There's a word. Accrued during that eight attack. So 20, 271, 271, blah, 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 blah. Total damage of that chain combo, 7,671. Okay, so here's the totals. Boom. Of all the combos. DPS. Here's the DPS of that combo. These are red because the game didn't show a damage number or I whiffed an attack. So this is missing data, right? So it's not a full combo. It's missing data or it's not a full combo. So that occurred here, it occurred down here, it occurred here, it occurred here. Here's your charge attacks. Skill damage numbers. When burst is activated, we only ran a handful of uh, combo chains and their DPS and total damage. Plunge damage from the burst, because that's what most people do is they just pogo. But let's... um. Let me do something really quick. I want to add the average DPS in for, for, for these right here, just for fun. Okay. So, so I basically got the average of the DPSs. I did not include the scuffed numbers. Okay. Um, so the Favonius had an average of 1896, which I thought was actually worse off than the prototype by playing with it. But then again, you got to remember that the prototype, you always have the buff running at least a one stack or, or at least the two stacks. Right. Um, so the buff, on the prototype is actually way better. So maybe that's why I felt like prototype outperformed the Favonius constantly. Um, so Favonius comes in at 1896. The prototype with the buff came in at 24. The Royal was actually less um, at 2342. Again, the Royal, if you have a bunch of crit in your artifacts, I bet you is going to be a monster of a, of a spear. If you don't have a lot of crit, it's not so, not so hot. Deathmatch, not so much higher than the prototype. The the one everybody had raging hard ons for twenty six seventy five, white tassel, thirty one twenty one. 
Again, these are normal attacks. They do not count towards the things that people care about, even though you're going to be doing more of this than anything. Uh, charge attacks, here's the same thing down here. Uh, White Tassel came in, 4-5-2, 4-5. Uh, the deathmatch was all over the place. Royal. And then skills, 13 crit, 5, 12 crit, 5. Uh, obviously doesn't get affected. Uh, I missed the charge attacks on the prototype with the buff. Whoops, my bad. Uh, 16k on Royal for a skill. 13k for the deathmatch. 13k for the White Tassel. All right, and here are the numbers for when your burst is active. Uh, God, dude, the White Tassel came in with a 10k DPS. Holy crap. Deathmatch, 8. Royal, 6-6. Six, six. And these guys are just down here. Man, come on. Vonius got lucky on one of these, man. That's that's dirty. Did I, did I fat finger a number up here? No. No. That's a crazy crit. That's what's throwing it off. That's a crazy crit. Oh, because we didn't get any crits like that on the third hit or the final hit on these guys. Should have ran more tests on that. Just took two days to get this video done. All right. Plunge. This is what people care about. Boom. So you're hitting for 14, 14, 14. 17 with the death match. 19, 19, 18. 16, 18. Okay. So, again, depending on what you value and what you are focusing on, if you are playing and building specifically for your burst and pogo stip stuff, dude, that royal, man, that royal. Oof. Oof. Deathmatch. Second. Second. Deathmatch and royal, babe. If you're looking for DPS that you're going to be constantly doing, constant DPS, which is going to outperform everything else because you're always doing it because it's normal, normally, normally attacking. Like what? I, man, I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I was beaten, clearing most of the Spiral Abyss last night with the White Tassel. Didn't even realize it that I had it on. <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of shit on screen. It's what I do. I like to do numbers. Oh, my... Green screen does not like this white monitor. Anyways, I stream daily over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash like I'm in between the late night hours of 8 p.m. to about 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's 8, 18 p.m. I still have to edit this down and upload it, and I, I will not be live at 8 o'clock tonight because I'm already late. So there you go. Follow me on Twitter at Slagummy for news updates, goofiness. Got an Instagram. Got a Discord. We got lots of things happening everywhere, everywhere. Links in the description for all kinds of goodies, other videos, and socials. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.